And in this video, I'm giving you my top five things to do in Brisbane City. Now, I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while now, and I thought my last five videos have been at the Gold Coast, so why not do something in the city? So if you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure you comment it down below, and what would you like to see a top five of next? Now, I've given a bit of a mixture in this list. I've done things that cost money to do and things that are free. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. And make sure you guys follow my Instagram, the links are in the description. And here are my top five things to do in Brisbane City. Number five. And at number five, we've got the Brisbane Ferris wheel. And it's pretty obvious it'd be on the list as it's an icon of Brisbane City. So it is something I'd recommend to anybody visiting here. And the only thing that doesn't have it any high on the list is the pricing. As it is $20 per ticket, so if you go with your family, just say three or four people, that's 60 to 80 bucks. But you do get some amazing views when you're up the top, so that's why it comes in at number five. Number four. At number four, I've got the Queensland Museum. If you just want to chill for a little bit while in some aircon and look at some pretty interesting things, this is the place to go. Located only a couple of minutes from the Brisbane Ferris wheel, the museum is filled with heaps of interesting things of all shapes and sizes, from whales to even dinosaurs, and a big squid with one eye. So if you're coming into Brisbane for the day, this is a must do. This is Big Chungus. Number three. And now it's getting to the places up. Good boy. And now it's getting to the places I like to go to. And at number three, I've got South Bank Beach. I mean, there's not really much to say. You've got some sand, some water, an amazing view of the city. Well, having fun in some water. But yeah, I don't think there's much else to say. It's just having a beach in the city. So that was quick. On to number two. Number two. And at number two, I've got Suncorp Stadium. <laughs> the place I basically live at when the NRL season is on. I would have this at number one, but sport isn't for everybody. So if you're one of the people that don't like sport, firstly, how dare you? <laughs> I don't, actually don't have that in the script. But even if sport isn't for you, I still recommend it because it is great whatever NRL game's getting played here. Some of the key games are Magic Rounds, State of Origin, and any of the big um, blockbuster Broncos games. I can't really rate the soccer matches because I actually haven't been to one. And there's all different tickets to buy. you got cheap tickets, expensive tickets, or um, medium tickets. <laughs> Let me try that again. There's a whole price range of tickets to suit any budget. So if you're in Brisbane City, look up if there's a game being played. Number one. Warning, on this next clip I went a bit overboard on the lights. And last but definitely not least, obviously because it's number one, the massive thing that's behind me, the Story Bridge. And you may be thinking, Dom, it's just a bridge. You just drive your car over it. Well, yes, that is true. But I'm talking about the Story Bridge climb. I did this a couple years ago for my birthday and it was one of the best experiences of my life. It is so much higher than you think up there and you get an amazing view of the city and the water. And plus, you're up there for a pretty long time. Now it is a bit expensive, but it is totally worth it. I would recommend buying the night climb because you can see all the lights of the city. So that's the list done, that's your top five. If you've stuck around this long, congratulations. And uh, on to the outro. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss the video. And comment if you'd like to see any more of these. See you next time. Bye, guys.